Today we're talking about a rye that kind of came out of nowhere at the beginning of 2020. This is the Elijah Craig Straight Rye. Let's get into it. Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Do you guys ever get excited when you go in the whiskey aisle? Dumb question, I know. But I was pretty excited when I first saw the Elijah Craig Straight Rye because frankly I didn't know it was coming out. You know, I try to keep my fingers on the pulse of everything but like I just totally somehow missed this one. So when I saw it in the store, I got really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I love regular Elijah Craig. You know, I just think it's a great value for the money and I love rye, so how could you go wrong? So I picked it up and then proceeded to wait several months to do a review. But oh well, here's a few key metrics about this and then we'll get into the nosing and the tasting. It was first released in January of 2020. It's 94 proof or 47% ABV. It's a no age statement, although it's widely believed to contain some older rye. Its MSRP is $35. As for the mash bill, it's barely legal at 51% rye, 35% corn, and 14% malted barley. It's the same mash bill used in other Heaven Hill brands such as Rittenhouse Rye and Pikesville. This whiskey won number seven on Whiskey Advocate's 2020 list of top 20 whiskeys. However, I will say it was not exactly a banner year for whiskeys released in 2020. I think that, you know, when I look at the list, I'm not sure it belongs where it was, and it was even outpaced or outplaced by two with Wild Turkey Single Barrel Rye, which probably makes some sense. Either way, let's go ahead and get into the nosing and the tasting because, yeah, crappy pop, because I think that there's not a whole lot more to say. If you are interested in learning more about Elijah Craig or Heaven Hill, you can check out the video up there I did on the Elijah Craig small batch. It kind of has a lot of this information. You're gonna learn why a church catching on fire may have contributed to us charring our oak barrels. So let's go ahead and give us a nose. All right, so right off the bat, a couple of things I noticed, right? So let's talk more like qualities and then we'll go notes. This is 47% ABV, but there's almost no alcohol burn on the nose here, which is great. It's kind of a symbol that something is going to be well-balanced to me. It's not always the case, but if a nose is well-balanced, usually the whiskey itself is going to be too. So as far as the notes go though, I'm smelling orange. I'm getting kind of like a peppery rye spice immediately. Um, I'm getting a lot of bourbon notes, and that makes sense because of the rye bill being, or the mash bill, I keep saying rye bill, mash bill being 51%, 35%. You are basically reproducing uh, a high corn rye rather than a high rye bourbon, right? So it makes sense that it's going to be very similar to a bourbon. And by that, I mean vanilla, caramel, butterscotch, oak, um, in this case, orange, that's not always the case, uh, and then your usual peppery rye spice. All right. Hmm. Cheers. I don't think I've ever actually done that without saying cheers, so forgive the talking with my mouth full. Just didn't want to break tradition. All right. The taste here, again, very well body, nice body. Like, let's talk a little bit about the whiskey. So the body is great. It is very well balanced. It's got several different flavors, which we'll go into in a minute, but it's also got a great viscosity. It's coating the mouth. I think 47% is very good for this. I, you know, 48% would be great. I think this would be a much different beast at a higher proof, and we'll talk about that in a little bit too. But as far as taste goes and actual no, uh, notes and everything, you're getting a lot of what you're getting on the nose. Uh, I taste immediately high rye, right? It tastes like peppery rye. It tastes very good. Um, it's a good rye. I, I do like that. But it also has orange, comes through, and then a lot of those bourbon notes. You know, it's heavy on caramel, like really heavy on caramel. It's got vanilla. It has... Um, Cinnamon. And not, mm, that's that's really about it. But I wouldn't expect a whole lot more. We're talking about a low $30 rye at a lower ABV. Now, I did add some water to this off screen. Didn't change the flavor very much, just made it a little bit more palatable. Uh, you know, like the, the ABV here carries well, but lower ABV is easier to drink, right? Higher ABV is more my, my thing anyway. So let's say what we think overall here. Now, my general opinion of this whiskey, first and foremost, is that I just wish that they would do a barrel proof version of it. It's really a very good whiskey. I think that this is this is quality. You know, if you think about the price of this, $30 to $35, this is 
right down the middle of what I think Rise can be. But the price is two, if not on the lower side. And Elijah Craig is really good at that. Heaven Hill is really good at putting out inexpensive versions of things that are pretty good. You know, there's very few things that are just incredible, but there are definitely some. This is along that pretty good. What I think is going to happen here is this is going to become what I put in my Manhattans going forward. So although I'm officially going to rate this as a buy it because for the price and everything, I think that you should definitely give it a shot. I, I may very well stock this myself because the price is perfect. I think this thing begs to be a Manhattan and it is reminiscent of the Elijah Craig small batch, which as you can see is uh pretty close to killed at this point. I, I do like the Elijah Craig small batch. So I think you guys should buy this. I think that you'll be happy that you did. But let's see what you guys think. Out of 744 votes, 5% of you said to stock it, 7% said to buy it, 17% said to try it, 7% said to ignore it, and 63% have never had it. Spencer Mav had a pretty good comment, which actually really reflects what I just said. So he says, just like Elijah Craig small batch bourbon, the Elijah Craig rye is a perfect example of its category. Nothing about it boldly stands out, but it's a great balance of spice and sweet. A fantastic bottle to stock along with bourbon. That's plenty great to sip, but also a perfect whiskey for a cocktail. GV said, it's pretty good. If it was a barrel proof rye, I would say stock it. Now, I don't only pick ones that agree with me. Now, Justin Jonas here says, it's good, but nothing about it makes it stick out from the pack of $20 to $30 ryes. I'd rather have a Wild Turkey 101 rye, Old Forester rye, or Rittenhouse rye at this point. A couple of other options if you really like this whiskey here and you want to try something different. So first off, you know, the Elijah Craig Small Batch. It's a bourbon. It's not a rye, but it is close enough. And if you like this, you'll probably like this. So let's talk Pikesville. Pikesville is about $5 more than the Elijah Craig Straight Rye. And this is 110 proof. It's also kind of based off of a bit more history. I'll put a, a link up in there. So if you're interested in this, you should check it out. But this one is one I've suggested a million times over. I really like this. It's on my beginner rye buying guide, and this is like my third bottle of it. So if you want to get into rye, this is kind of a no-brainer, and you should definitely try it. Another option is the Sagamore Spirit Cask Strength. Now, this is a fantastic rye. Everything from Sagamore Spirit I really like, especially some of their, their more limited release stuff. But this one kind of blows them all away in my book. I really like this. It's just... I I don't want to go too much into it because this is supposed to be quick, but check a link up there if you're curious. You'll love it, I promise. All right, that does it for this episode of the Whiskey Dictionary, but first I want to just thank all of my patrons. They really help to make these episodes possible, allow me to buy the bottles that I think will be entertaining for you all. And everybody who watches from week to week, you guys are actually really important to the channel because seeing the, you know, the views kind of roll in and everything, super motivating to me, really good for the YouTube algorithm, who cares, but more so just really good for, for me. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching week to week and for all of the comments that you guys put below. All right. What is your favorite rye? Speaking of comments, what's your favorite rye? What's something that you'd love to see on the channel? Let me know below and we will, I'll make sure to get to it. All right. Thank you very much for joining me here and have a great rest of your night. Cheers.